A little over a month ago, someone asked me how religious or how Christian or how Catholic is Russia, Belarus? And I didn't know how to answer. I was like, well, you know, they're, they're pretty religious, but they're also kind of not. And, uh, you know, that's not very, a very helpful answer. To give some abstract concept. So I will give you some concrete examples. Number one, I have never, <laughs> now maybe it happened one time that I don't remember, but to my knowledge and memory, I have never been in a bus that did not have the most advanced car safety system, which in case you didn't know, here in Belarus and I think in Russia as well, uh, is photos or icons of Jesus and Mary. Every bus driver makes sure to have that safety system. Uh, they may have one photo, it, it, photo, yeah, it's the best way to put it. Uh, they may have one, they may have two, they may have three. Maybe they've got like one plus uh, a necklace with a cross hanging. Maybe they've got two plus something else. I've even seen buses, and by buses I mean both like big things that you consider buses normally and large vans. Because here there's a lot of these very large vans with lots of seats inside of them that operate like buses. So you've got like the, you've got the city buses, you know, that just go around the city. You've got the really large kind of like two-story buses that go between uh, further distances and you've got the large vans which go intra-city within the city and intercity between different cities and countries even <laughs> but they all have one thing in common and that's that you will probably never find one without Christian icons in it. Number two, I didn't notice this so much in the past but at some point I realized <laughs> that a lot of guys, like a lot of guys, I can't give you a specific percentage, but a lot have either a necklace or a bracelet with a cross or a Christian cross. But I've actually seen some people with Catholic crosses as well. So you've got, I mean, women also wear these. But I notice it more with men, I don't know, maybe I just notice it more, maybe men wear them more, maybe women cover up more, I don't know. But it's like, uh, without naming names, someone I often see has a bracelet with a cross on it. Um, someone I see sometimes has a necklace with a cross on it, another person has a necklace with it. I mean, so many people have this. I've even decided that once I find the ideal necklace or bracelet, I'm gonna get one because I do believe in God and this stuff. I don't like to pick one exact religion, but I do believe in this stuff. I do believe in this way of life, the good way of life, the way of life that actually works for human beings. And I do want to get something, especially because in my homeland, California, there was a war against Christianity and Catholicism. And it's going very bad for the Christians and Catholics. You may go, what war? I haven't read about that on the internet. Well, yeah, because it's more advanced than a war of shooting projectiles out of small machines that you hold in your hands. Far, far more advanced. They've taken over the schools, they've taken over the media, they've taken over everything. And this undermined everything. And implemented something else that's very destructive. I'm not going to go on with that. <laughs> not the point of this video. But here in Belarus, and also Russia, but I live in Belarus so I can speak the most for Belarus. Christianity and Catholicism is widespread. Even people, I mean, not everyone's gonna wear a necklace or a bracelet with a cross. 
not everyone is going to say that they are a Christian. <laughs> I know people that wouldn't say that they are religious, yet they are. And you, things are a little bit complicated because in the Soviet Union, religion was outlawed. So yeah, even holidays like Christmas, for example, were just deleted. They celebrated New Year's instead. So now people still have the tradition of oh, Christmas, what's that? Oh, let's celebrate New Year's. But yeah, people are very religious. Christianity is strong here. And you can see it if you just look around because you don't see the degeneracy, you don't see the crime, you don't see the homelessness. I mean, that kind of falls in with the degeneracy. But you see a mostly healthy society, both mentally and physically. Especially comparing to somewhere like California, it's night and day. Comparing to Western Europe, it's night and day. It's no wonder certain people want you to hate Belarus and Russia. Because it's everything they hate. And it's everything you love. If you are a fellow moral Christian Catholic person. And when I say Christian Catholic, I don't even necessarily mean, like, when I talk about what I just talked about, I mean actual Christian Catholic. But when I now say moral person, because I know a lot of us in the West have lost connection with religion, but a lot of people still have a connection with a certain morality like what's going on in the West. That's what we still have here. Yeah. In the West, you got a lot of people, like myself, that don't agree with what's going on, that believe in being good, being strong, being hardworking, having a family, you know, doing good things. That's not promoted in the West. And I'm pretty sure you know that people are seeking to destroy that. They're doing a pretty good job. So not to try to push something on you, but remember who your natural allies are. Because they're also fighting those people. Well, I mean, those people are also fighting them. They're not fighting those people, but those people are fighting them. They do everything in their power to get rid of good in the world. 